Hi, welcome back. My name is Carrie Waltz and I share tips, tools, and techniques for the artist in you. And today I am showing my new outfit. Not very attractive as far as uh, you're showing off your shape, but I tell you what, this hiking vest holds so many things and I have everything I need for a day out to go hiking, to go walking, and in the near future, I'm going to be taking a group of artists to a beautiful garden and we're going to be walking around and being able to just sit and enjoy and observe and paint. I bought it for the purpose of plein air painting with my watercolor and I had no idea really when I bought it how many pockets this has. So let me show you what I'm going to do and then I'm going to take it out to local college today and give it a try. So I have a small triangle hiking uh, stool so that that gives you the option to sit anywhere you want. You don't have to find a uh, park bench. You, you know, if the ground is wet, you don't have to worry about sitting on on the wet ground. But anyway, moving on to the important part. Back here, isn't this lovely? This long one in the back holds my clipboard that has my magnets that I showed you in a recent video. And it could hold a sketchbook, a fairly large sketchbook back there if you wanted to. I have um, inside pockets. Uh, there's not anything on this side in, in this part, but there's two pockets I haven't used yet. But this interior part is where I put my billfold, my keys, things that I felt that were a little vulnerable if I had them on the outside. They did fit in the pouch for the water bottle if you wanted to do that. So that's what I had there. And I could pare that down a lot smaller if I wanted to but then I would have to repack it and undo it the next time. And I just, that's what I carry with me all the time and I wanted it convenient. Over here, you have another uh, very tight with a um, Velcro connection. I chose not to put anything in there. There's a zipper compartment right here that because I'm currently an Invisalign customer, I'm getting my teeth straightened. This is only day four of that. I have everything I need, including toothpaste, toothbrush, floss, the little container to hold my Invisaligns when I take them out. I just carry that with me so that I, if I drink anything other than water or eat, I need to take them out and have a place to put them. So that's the personal stuff. And on this side, oh, I already showed you that one. This will be the fun part. Can I remember what things are in each thing? Well, the, okay, Interior, the zippers, personal. The very outside of these are personal, not anything too personal, but uh, lotion, lip balm, and I'll probably put some insect repellent in this one, but it's empty right now. So, I haven't showed you any art supplies other than my little clipboard, so my art supplies are in this zipper, has all my painting tools. And my little paint palettes. There's two um, limited palettes in that. And this one, this side, same thing, is what goes with that. So matching pockets, matching purpose. This is the surfaces of which I will paint. So when I sit down to paint, I just need to get these two out. Pull out what I need. Get out my clipboard from the back. Have a seat on my stool if I choose. Take out what I need, slip back in what I don't, and I'm ready to go. We'll see it works. I know people think I'm a little nuts, and they'll think, what in the world? What kind of fashion statement am I making now? I'm not making a fashion statement. I'm just trying to be convenient. I want my hands free. I want it to be where, if this works, I'm going to leave everything in my vest and just grab my vest and go outside and paint. I'm going to document what I'm doing and maybe it will inspire you to find a way to make it easy for you. I know this is a little excessive, but I'm always trying new things. So thank you for watching and please subscribe if any of this gives you an idea or if you just want to follow along and see what this crazy nut's going to do next time. I'm at Tattnall Square Park in Macon, Georgia. I'm trying out my new art vest. I parked on a bench and I've got my uh, holder for my phone attached to the bench so hopefully I can video what I paint today. We'll see if it turns out. This is the view of Tattnall Square Park Fountain. I just love it. I got out my journal and used my head to 
shade my painting area. I had a paper towel to wipe my brush on and a spare index cards to test the colors. I'm doing a voiceover here so you wouldn't have to see me draw in real time the fountain. I started with a line of symmetry down the center and some guided lines on either side about the same width apart so that I could create the ellipses that the lower underneath view of the fountain was what I was seeing. So that's why I have those guidelines there to help me stay centered. And I decided just to do the upper part of the fountain. Double checking symmetry and beginning to paint. I'm sorry I didn't get a very good focal point on my painting. I thought it was more centered over my work and that you could even see the painting palettes to the right. But um, I'm going to cut out part of this video so that you don't see what I did off the view of the camera and just show you what I was able to do. I'm going to have to practice this filming process a little better and figure out how to prop my phone up to where I can see it a little better with the holder that I have. It's a learning process for the painting outside as well as the filming at the same time. That just makes it a little more complicated. But I hope you can see what I was doing. I was enjoying the day and it was so nice to hear the conversation of the families in the background and the sound of the water. The wind picked up from the first time I showed you the video of the fountain and by the time I was leaving the water was blowing a little sideways. I didn't put in the water because my white pen was dead and <laughs> decided to do that when I got home. And uh, there's my view. What you think? Not bad for a little sketch. 15 minutes. This is the finished journal entry. A windy day in the park from historical Tattnall Square, established 1853. Trust, hope, love, and justice are words that are around the fountain, and I wanted to include that here. So, wish that for you this week. Hope you have a wonderful time doing whatever it is that you do, and I hope something here has inspired you to give it a try. I'm back home, and I made a slight adjustment as to how I carry my um, phone holder. I attached it to my triangle chair with a toggle that I put through a cord and so I can cinch that up and then cinch it up down here. I decided since I had trouble with the sun that I would also uh, rubber band and cinch in a umbrella to help with the glare of the sun. So um, I'm going to take this next time I go out and give it a try. I absolutely love, love, love my vest. It was so comfortable and convenient to have everything within reach.